Uh, hi, my name is Olga, and I hope you enjoy my little demo today. I'm doing an uh, Asian style demonstration for the model dog because it's very popular now and everybody asking how to learn. So that's the quick solution how to learn. So you see what I get in the mail. And of course, it's made in a um, very beautiful and big country called China because everything made there. So when I, and it's coming, that's the big wig for the body. It's kind of like that. It's look like a little rat, right. you know, and everybody's scared. But then you have the magic brush and you start to brush very easy. And you see how it's coming fluffier and fluffier and fluffier. It's not like an old models because the coat is similar to natural coat and it's not going to destroy your scissors. So when you brush, I would say for the whole body with the four legs, and a head and ears, I would say maybe 20 minutes you need. For the head, I would say five minutes and you will have that fluff wig. So then you can start to scissor. You can, you have to put on a base of the head, install the nose and two eyes, and then you start to scissor. So for me, I start with a little thin body clipper and I uh, mark the stop area between eyes. So it's coming this way. I do little marks. Then I brush it out. And that's the separation of the muzzle. And you know, for the Asian style, it's actually a um, very simple solution how to learn it. You have to learn how to make muzzle. I always tell the, uh, the width of the muzzle, it's the uh, same as the width of the cheekbones. So that's the square. Then you find the uh, lips. So the, from the ones, um, one half on the top, one half on the bottom. Straight line, straight line, symmetrical, and an oval shape. That's the muzzle. So when you learn how to groom very nice, perfect muzzle, then you can apply any uh, decoration bows whatever on the top and you can create the, any style so for me i like small scissors and uh, i'm starting to cut everything then coming off the nose line so everything in front of the nose is going to the garbage that's how short you want to do same on a real dog absolutely the same then we fluff again, and you can use the same small scissors and the fine cheekbones and a cut one line and a cut the other line. So you have the border line of the muzzle. Now remember I told you middle from the lip side down. So same, very short down under the muzzle and uh, on the top of the muzzle. It's just a little trick. You need to open half of the eyes only because if you open all the, uh, the whole eye, it will be like a bold expression, like a Shih Tzu. We don't want that bold expression like, wow. We want very soft expression that customer come to your salon and say, oh, when they have, oh, that's mean that your design sold. So just make it very, very soft. Uh, deep eyes with a nice bubble so they look under the bubble and they look cute so try to not cut everything and not expose the whole eye just trying to do the softer soft expression and the model dogs it's very easy to learn because you can handle them anyway and they're not biting you back so hold it comb it down find the half of the eye take your scissors and cut across of the muzzle from one side to other side. So now you see a stop line. You see the half of the eyes if you look from the front. And now a little bit of secret how to create perfect top of the muzzle. 
if you look from this side, you have to create like a little um, roach here. So most like on some kind of angle, like I would say maybe like um, 45 or 60 degree around the muzzle. And then you're going down to the eyes on the same direction, but like the same, but uh, same angle, but opposite direction. So you have actually like, like triangle muzzle, like going up and down. Then you go again and blend it. Very good. That's the top of the muzzle. Bottom of the muzzle, also round it down. You don't want any sharp edges, sharp lines. Everything smooth, everything very, very even. You can create actually half moon muzzle. You can do straight line and round underneath, but that's for Yorkies, Maltese, Shih Tzu, for drop coated dogs. For curly coats, for poodles, we do symmetrical, top and bottom. So you can use super curved scissors and cut it shorter. All angles go away. Try do not rush yourself. Spend good 15 minutes on a real dog, maybe a little bit more, because I believe, I strongly believe that uh, muzzle and a uh, face sell the haircut. Because most people looking for the beautiful face, and if you know how to groom beautiful face, you can be much better groomer for the customers. I'm not talking about the show competition because everything uh, very important, but for the salon style, the face is the point of sale. Then you can use seeing shears and blend. Of course, you see decoration I use, I like to decorate. So you can go to Bardell Bowls and buy some decoration or Milena and buy some, but that's how you do the muzzle. And on the side, you see up and down to the eyes and rounded, nothing in front. That's because when customer bring dog home and they start to drink water, you don't want anything that go down in a water bowl. You want everything smooth and stay at least for the months. So they appreciate your good style. Then for the top, it's just your imagination. And you can use what's here. That's a kind of a mushroom style. The very popular style now. Uh, um, then when you scissor in between eyes short, so I can cut it here short to open eyes a little bit more. Then blend to the top. Maybe more, a little bit more here. And then side of the hair, it's fallen free on the top of the eyes. And that's the very popular style in Japan and, and um, China now. Then everything left free on the sides, not trimmed, and shorter a little bit on the front and going down back. Just remember, that unlike like um, traditional style in, in US or uh, the other countries, Asian style, it's a little bit different when we're talking about the cheek coat. If I put the ear up, you see I don't touch anything under the ear, nothing passing the corner of the eye. So muzzle going to the corner of the eye, outer corner of the eye, Anything that behind that line stays long. That's how they make it look like a stuffed animal. So remember the hair under the eye is still long. It's like for Bichon Frise. But here to the corner of the eye and then the coat hanging down. If you cut it, it will be traditional poodle line.
if you cut that hair, it looks like a poodle. They, you remember the new motto, <laughs> don't poodle my doodle. That's how we work now because every day in my salon, oh, hi, my name is La La La, and I have a new puppy. And guess what the puppy is going to be the doodle or kakapoo or designer breed. So we have to work with that customers and um, they want it doesn't look like a poodle. So that's the perfect style for the kakapoo for, I would say, any bishapoo, more kiyorki, a little bit fuller, not shave muzzle, but it's also not the beard. As soon as you cut short under the chin, it's coming, the age coming up, like, you know, it's when I leave the beard, it's look like an older dog. When I cut short, that's the puppy clip. So they look like a puppies all the time. So if you want to create something unusual, you can also make asymmetrical style and a cut shorter here and a leaf longer and even go over the eye. So we can, for example, cut it short, that area. A little bit across from the inner corner of the eye, going to the corner of the ear. So this one I want to take off line and take off. And that's asymmetrical. You can do a little bit different. You can do the shorter ear here. You can leave it longer ear, but the shortest part of the forehead is keeping uh, a, like this coat on a good shape. It's not, not falling over the eyes. And you know, the most customer, uh, customers uh, asking for the haircut that they can see eyes. So that's, if you want to do that, that's the good sample. You can do shorter on the forehead, longer on the back. You can decorate it with a bow and bow is still really good. So you can put it here. Bow will stay. can cut shorter over the eye, over the ear. Everything in like a, like a heart shape. It's similar to Portuguese water dog ears. And don't worry about your scissors, that coat doesn't ruin scissors. That's the major question. I always receive requests. How about scissors? No, it's okay. Don't worry. It's very soft coat on mannequins, so you can use it. It's a little bit um, kind of fuzzy around me, so if you like to wear a mask to cover your mus muzzle, I'm sorry, your face, not a muzzle, of course, <laughs> you can do it. Sometimes I use the, any like anti-static spray around me, so the, all these pieces of hair going down. 
now it's time to open eyes a little bit more. You can use your scissors and just open it. And cut a little bit shorter. Again here. Scissor around. I like mannequins for practicing on a scissoring because the code is similar as I told you. It's very easy to learn how to hold the scissor, how to scissor and um, achieve that plush finish. So if you like to practice, you don't need to have real dog, you can practice on mannequins. <laughs> Are you using? That's Utsumi. I'm sorry? Utsumi scissors. Utsumi. Okay, so my girl, it's ready. And it's a little bit of a symmetrical style. On the back of the head, it's like a bob haircut. You can finish straight line, or you can uh, also separate in between ears and finish as a modern style on poodles. And after I finish the haircut, I keep them on a shelf in my shop. So when people come, they asking for groomer. Now we have a 3D model. So they, um, of course, every groomer has own style, but if you display them on a shelf, so the customer will come and see, oh, I want that style, or oh, I want that style. So actually it's um, how it works in my salon. We have few displays with the different styles. That's how I sell the Asian style. I show you, see, look at that asymmetrical style. Look at that poodle style, teddy bear, mushroom style, all different. So that's my little helpers. And with the big wigs, you can also practice a poodle, bichon, uh, teddy bear style, Asian style, mm -hmm. or just practice for scissoring.